And these are today's shoutouts. If you want to see yourself in the next video, then subscribe and leave a comment. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Ark here, and I'd like to ask you a favor. If you find this video useful, please do make sure to subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, and I'm starting to gift subscribers. More info at the end of the video. Please enjoy. What is up guys, Ark here, back again with a new video. So for today's video, I'll cover how you can stretch your resolution screen in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 3. A lot of pros have been using this and we only found out about it just now. So let's jump in and see how we can also benefit from this as the perceived notion everyone has within the stretched res is a placeable effect of hitting your shots more easily. The resolution makes targets wider so it's easier to aim and hit them. But before we begin, quickly guys, we are nearly at 1k subs, it's insane. We only need 200 more subs and I feel like we will actually hit 1k really soon. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so before we hit 1k to join that early squad gang, which will forever close its doors really soon. So yeah, thank you and let's get started. So first off, this stretch is different because we will be display scaling it on our screens. And it's totally different from old GPU scaling, which everyone is used to because that used to cause input delay and lag when done through the GPU. This new method has zero input delay, which is insane when you think about that. Fortnite patched any stretch resolution a long time ago and nobody could play it. But these pros have been abusing this without telling anyone for months and getting some cheeky kills and wins they should not have. So let me share it with you. So to start off, it's really easy. Just follow my lead. Go to app data and percent signs. From there, go to your local folder. And inside the local folder, open up Fortnite game. Then navigate to saved folder and then config folder. And then finally, Windows client. There you'll see a file named gameusersettings.any. Right click on it and in properties make sure it is not set to read only. This will let you edit it in notepad so it would work. So take away the tick from read only and now click save and right click again to go to edit mode. When you have it open in notepad, press ctrl and f at the same time. A search window will pop up and just type in it last user confirmed resolution size without spaces. You'll see two lines with your native Full HD resolution. Make sure that resolution inside is not stretched. Now for step 2, right click on your desktop and select NVIDIA control panel. Go to adjust desktop size and position and select no scaling option from that page. Below it there is a tab which reads perform scaling on and you will have your GPU selected. Click it and select display, that is very important. Now that you've finished the previous two steps, you need to go into the description of this video and download the file I linked. It is named the custom resolution utility. It will let us set our manual resolution which we want. This is how we're gonna stretch our res. Inside the WinRAR you will see a file named crew.exe. Open it up and select your monitor at the very top. And in the detailed resolutions tab, click the delete button to delete any resolutions you have inside that box. Then click add and a new window will pop up where you need to select automatic LCD reduced for the timing option. And then finally put in the stretched res, so 1722 by 1070. That is what I'm going to use, but you can of course use your own if you go online and search up whatever stretch resolution you want in Fortnite. Don't forget to also put in the right frequency of your monitor. So if you have a 144 or 240 hertz. If you also don't know what frequency your monitor is, then it's probably 60 because that's the default. People who have more usually tend to know it because you actually spend a lot more on your monitor which supports that higher refresh rate. Now that we added our detailed resolution, on the left there is a tab called established resolutions. In there click the button none to deselect everything. Then in the standard resolutions tab below click delete to delete all the resolutions you may have there. Click add in the new window and select 1920 by 1080. Finally, under the last tab called extension blocks, 
click edit and in the new window in the detail resolutions tab click delete for all resolutions. Now I know this is a lot of information but this is how it's done in 2K20. All these settings will help improve your Fortnite game and make you better. So it's definitely worth it. Back in the WinRAR tab there is a file called restart64.exe. Click it if you're running a 64-bit system. And if you're running 32-bit, which most likely not, then hit the restart.exe, which has no 64 in its name. Now for our final step to finally change the resolution, right click on your desktop and go to display settings. Click advanced and go to display adapter properties at the bottom. Click list all modes and select the resolution we created. And boom, you are finally done. This is it. You can go play Fortnite on stretched res. And if you want to reset it, then just run the resetall.exe file in the WinRAR you downloaded previously. Don't worry, it won't change anything but this custom resolution. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, then join the early squad. Let's aim for 1k subs before the end of this month. It's a brand new challenge guys, let's beat it together. I will also stream when I'm at 1k subs and do a giveaway, so make sure to join it when that happens. It was me Arky, as always guys, peace. Hey guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoy and find it useful. If you want to join my future battle pass and V-Box giveaways, do make sure to easily apply by subscribing and leaving a comment with your Fortnite username. I will be choosing 5 random people in the near future for weekly gifts. Peace.